What we have here is a new intersection at 16th and U in New Hampshire uh, that better accommodates bikes. Prior to this, we had a lot of bikes coming down New Hampshire Avenue the wrong way and trying to go through the intersection to get to the other side of New Hampshire Avenue. And uh, what we've done now is we've created a contraflow lane so we can kind of legitimize that movement. And bikes come through the contraflow lane and come up to the intersection and then they get a bike signal. Stop right at the stop bar in the front of the bike lane with the triangular chevrons here. What that does tells the bike signal to go. So if they park their bike right at the stop bar uh, and look up at the signal, they'll see a, uh, a green bike. And then they move to the front of the queue, uh, what we call a bike box, on 16th Street. And then they wait for the signal there. Just the regular signal. They can, um, they can go right on you or they can go straight on 16th or they can go uh, back up uh, New Hampshire. It's important that the cars stop behind the stop bar like they're supposed to do to provide room for the bike box. And it's also important that the bikes do not run the red light. Uh, if they run the red light, they risk getting hit by the cars on 16th Street. We've seen the numbers increase here uh, every year, and we want to do something to make it uh, safer and legal to get through this intersection. Stop on the loop detector, right at the stop bar. And you look up at the bike signal. You get two of them here. If it works out well, uh, depending on what we learn, we can incorporate it into the uh, reconstruction of this intersection which is scheduled uh, for next year as well. So um, it's a perfect time for us to try something like this.